Hey, how's it going, folks? Listening to some music today. <laughs> uh, Green Day. Let me know what you think. Thumbs up? Thumbs down? Can you even hear it? I'm curious. Let me know. Um, if you're watching the replay, do appreciate it. And please feel free, go ahead and share this, like this. I'd love to see all those fun emojis as well. So uh, go ahead and do that. For those of you that are joining in live, can you hear the music? Yes? No? Maybe so? I don't know. Uh, just figured it a little fun today. And you know, sometimes it's one of those days, right? I love music, so um, hearing it gets me amped up sometimes. Um, so while I just check on making sure that everything is working, um, go ahead. I would love to hear where you are and where you're coming in from. Um, and feel free to share as well. All right, I think we are good to go. All right, awesome. Engine? I'm not sure. Alexa, stop. <laughs> Engine? I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce your name. I do apologize if I am butchering it. I, I'm sincerely sorry about that. Um, so we're talking about 22 ways in which you can automate your business. And we're on day 10. We're almost at that halfway point. And um, howdy, Ben. Awesome. Thanks for joining in. And we're talking today uh, about how to build profits and really what it means to do that and how you can go ahead and build in those profits. So I know that people don't necessarily look at the numbers as hard as they need to and we're going to talk about that today. Um, I would love to get as many people in here as possible so go ahead and share that. Um, uh, Awesome, great. Um, go ahead and share this out. I want to try to get as many people in here as possible. So, um, what we've covered a lot on is really about that building that your foundation for your business because when you have that foundation in place, it's easy to start optimizing things, right? You build in processes and then you look at those processes and start to build in systems, right? There's a big difference between a process and a system. And the, pro the process is the steps, the one, two, three of how to do something. The system itself is the way you can start automating it. It's things that tie the process together, right? Um, so today we're talking about profits, right? How do you build profits in your business, right? The best way to build any sort of profit in your business is through time. It's through saving time, right? That's where profits come from. Um, when you first do something, when you first start a project and you're paving the way, it's gonna take you a long time to do that. It's probably gonna be the longest time that it takes you to do that task. But as you start to do it time and time again, it gets quicker. You start to save time. You start to build up the resources that you have, right? Um, Yes, time, especially time tracking is a very, very unsexy term um, and it's an unsexy thing to be doing, but that is where you do build profits, okay? And I'm gonna give you a, a quick example at the end of this. If you have any questions, please feel free to jump in, say them, you know, share them in the comments section below. I'd love to answer them for you. It could be about time tracking, profits, anything, anything pertaining to business. I, I would definitely get to hit them up at the end of the show. So, time tracking, right? Unless you know how much time you're spending on something, you can't figure out a way to do it faster, right? So, you have to be able to time track your time on something. Um, I use a little tool called Toggle, right? It's T-O-G-G-L. And the reason why I use it is because like most of everything that I try to use, I try to make it not break my workflow. And <clears throat> by that, I mean when I download Toggle and I create an account with them, they have other things. They have a mobile app. They have a browser extension. Uh, they integrate with the things and tools that I use, right? 
So what happens is, is when I go inside of Asana, once I download that toggle extension, well, what do I see? I see the, the, <clears throat> I see the toggle button next to every single task and project, right? So it makes it a no brainer for me to press start when I start on a task. It makes it a no brainer for me to end it because I see it next to the, the task when I go to check it off, right? So when I start doing these things, you start to track what it is that you're doing and how much time it's taking you to do these things. The great thing about Toggle is it's simple and it gets out of your way. You can categorize things and it's done. Right? The most important thing about time tracking, and before I get into it, I want to know, for those of you that are here live, can you leave it in the comment section below if you track time and what you use to track time? I know that there's a little bit of a delay, but I'm curious to hear what you guys are using to track your time. <clears throat> Um, so the, the most important thing about tracking time, right, is looking at it and reviewing it once you've accumulated a certain amount of reports, right? So in other words, every week I always look at my time, right, at the end of the week. Um, that's a great question, Ben. I'll talk to that in at the end. Um, <clears throat> you have to be able to review, right? So you want to be able to look at the time reports that you get, right? If you start to do certain things over and over and over again, let's say, you know, setting up a proposal, right? You start to see, so let's say, you know, very optimistically, when you first write a proposal, it takes you an hour to do it, right? Then um, <clears throat> then you use, you know, you do it again, maybe it takes you 55 minutes, right? You do it a, a third, fourth, fifth time, maybe you've gotten it down to about a half an hour now, right? The only way you really know that is if you see it, right? If you see the way that it, it digresses, you know, in time, decreases in time. So you want to be able to review those things because if it's not, if it's a manual process, let's say it's, you know, sending out invoices, right? And you do a manual sending out an invoice and, you know, you comes to a PDF and you send it via email, like this long drawn out process and it takes you two and a half hours to do so, right? Maybe using a, a tool like FreshBooks or Harvest or something else will save that time, right? See where your manual effort can be optimized for something that's, you know, automated or something that's easier or quicker to do. The only reason you know how to do, the only way you know how to effectively do that is by knowing how long it takes you to do that task, right? So <clears throat> I want to share with you a real quick story and I wrote a blog post about this and it's about saving time, right? Because I track my time. Well, here's a very, very, meta based story, right? So a client of mine used Harvest and they wanted to be able to track my time through Harvest and apply it to certain projects and things like that. I was fine with that. However, I felt that I was wasting time on it. Like, you know, figuring out, like hitting the button for start, but then figuring out where I allocate that time to, which project, which tasks and all that other kind of stuff. And for me, just knowing how I was tracking the time, it felt long. Well, <clears throat> what did I do? I used Toggle anyway for my business, right? So I started tracking the time on tracking their time, right? So, and what I meant by that is, is when I clicked the button, before I was gonna track the time for my client, I would click Toggle to start, right? And I looked at it and I came to find that I was spending pretty much close to an hour of time just tracking my time per week for this one individual client. 
that's a long time to figure to click a start and stop button, right? Um, if this is shocking to you, please send some of those emojis. I'd love to be able to see that. So what I did was for another week, I just tracked time for myself, right? Um, using toggle and that's that, right? The thing was at the end of each week, I had to kind of give my client a report, right? And that report was basically about the, you know, the task that I worked on, how long it took and, um, <clears throat> and which project it went to, right? So I needed to give them a report of that and Harvest gave that for them, right? It gave them a nice little reported format. Well, just by me tracking the time, right? And doing it in the way that I do it normally, I actually wound up cutting the harvest time to 23 minutes per, per week. So I tracked my time the way that I do it instead of the way that the client wanted to do it and then retrofit what I, what I did to, for the client at the end of the week. I saved myself over a half an hour worth of time. I mean, that's in the grand scheme of things, you know, in a week, a half an hour doesn't sound like a month sound like much but imagine what you could do with that half hour right I could go you know for a walk I can you know do something for my wife you know that that half hour in just that one week's time is a lot of time and that's what I mean that's profit building right I didn't necessarily have to worry like when you look at your time tracking reports if you're able to optimize the process in which you are performing a certain task that's where profits come in so I'd love to be able to you know I just I just want to kind of recap what we've talked about here because it's a lot right the thing is in order to build profits you have to understand the time right you have to understand how much time a task is taking you use a simple tool like toggle to be able to just track time as per usual, right? Without without having to worry about, oh, I need to start up a, a time tracking, you know, app or something like that. Toggle is nice. It's got a browser extension. Um, it works with a lot of products like Basecamp, Asana. I think Teamwork is another one. It works with a lot of different integrations, right? And then you have to be able to report and review on the time spent on your tasks so that this way you can optimize it. You could take a look, you know what, maybe I am spending too much time tracking time, or maybe I'm spending too much time doing social media broadcasts, right? You want to be able to say, oh, hey, you know what, I th didn't realize I was spending six hours a week on, you know, Facebook and Twitter. Maybe I should cut that back, or maybe there's a way that I can optimize that time better. So I want to address a couple of questions. I did see some people come in through questions. Ben says, are there free, alter free alternatives for Toggle? Are, there, are they any good um, or did not use something like that yet? Well, Ben, I tried a number of different ways. And like I said, I like the, the apps to get out of my way, right? So I don't want to have to necessarily open another app in order to do so, right? So I used FreshBooks for a while because I used that as my billing platform. Um, I used this other tool too that I can't remember the thing, but I had to open it up in order to remember to use it. So I went looking around for things that had uh, natural integrations with SaaS apps that I use and I have, and to be able to, you know, kind of just be simple enough so that I can categorize tasks so that I, when I looked at the reports and reviewed my time, I was able to, you know, group things together. So I hope that was helpful. I don't know if there are free alternatives. There probably are, but for my needs and for me being able to optimize my processes and, and build out that profit, I wanted things to be very simple and kind of not disrupt my workflow. Uh, Annalyn says, I track time, I track sometimes using Toggle and Pancake app. Um, I guess Pancake app has its own tracking time system too. Sometimes I forget though. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, right? So like, that's why I like Toggle because the browser extension doesn't let me 
forget, right? If I go into Asana or Todoist or Basecamp or any of these other tools that are out there, because I have the browser extension installed, I see the toggle button, right? Right there. So it automatically is a reminder. Plus, toggle actually has this unique thing that during work hours, you can set it to remind you after a certain period of time that you're not tracking the time. So in other words, if the timer's not going for like, let's say 10 or 15 minutes, Toggle will pop up on my desktop saying, hey, do you want to track time and what, what you're doing? So it's kind of like a little nice nice to have feature, but it did, like I got stuck too. I didn't track it all the time. Um, Engine, yeah, yeah, definitely get in the habit of it because that's how you know if you're going to um, be able to, you know, Build that profits, right? You, you don't know how long you are taking. Like you might think of it, but sometimes tasks really <laughs> take a lot longer than you think, right? <laughs> and Alan hates that reminder. I know, me too, but it works, right? And that's, we're trying to build profits in our business. And that's really what it comes down to. It's great to get that $10,000 project, but if it takes you six months to do that $10,000 project, how much profits is in there, right? So. That, that's a different conversation altogether, but I just wanted to really bottle this up in making sure that you're looking at time when you think about profits. Look at optimizing that time. Um, and that's all I have really for today. Uh, tomorrow, aside from the day 11, right, I will be holding a demo session on how to really your simp... Su I'm calling it your super simple content progress report, right? There's no pitch, nothing, right? You do have to register for it. Um, that's just so that I know that the tech works, right? Um, I'm still having a little bit of trouble with Facebook Live and my computer, so I wanted to make sure that this came, came across without any technical issues. Go ahead and join the Sustainable Freelancer group all the information is in there I mean hop into the sustainable freelancer group all the information on the event is in there um, you can get there by res.com slash Facebook and I would love for you to join right if you're thinking about for 2017 content right pushing out content even if it's just hey I just want to write some blogs I'm not gonna care about all the rest of it this is a nice, simple way to make sure that you know it's effective for you. Um, go ahead and register for the event. It's tomorrow. I know time zones really suck, and I'm, I apologize for it. Um, this is something that I, I haven't really... I just wanted to put it out there and see how people responded. So I, I, I kind of squeezed it into my day, and Thursdays and Fridays are really tight for me. So... I do apologize for, I know some some Australians kind of were like, hey, this is like at three o'clock in the morning. So I apologize for that. I may run this again. I'm definitely going to run other ones. So, you know, there'll be other opportunities for you guys to jump in. So until tomorrow, it's your time to feast.